With a preview of USA Iran, I'm Glenn Crooks for New York Post Sports. It's game day for the U.S. men, and it's a must win for them as well. Meanwhile, Iran could tie or win, both of them seeking advancement to the second round, the round of 16. Gianni Infantino, the uh, president of FIFA, made a plea to leave politics out of the games to the 32 teams. Well, the U.S. men's national team official Twitter account posted this earlier this week. The Iran national flag without the Allah symbol in the middle. And the Iranian Federation was furious because the U.S. Soccer Federation, they said that it was purposely omitted. And to quote, the Federation chose to show support for the women in Iran fighting for basic human rights. Greg Berhalter, he addressed the situation at the Monday press conference. Again, you know, I can only reiterate that the, the players and the staff knew nothing about what was being posted. Um, and, it, you know, sometimes things are out of our control. We believe that it's going to be a match um, that the result will depend on, you know, who puts more effort in, who, who executes better on the field. And, you know, we're not focused on those outside things. And, and all we can do on our behalf is apologize on behalf of the players and the staff. But it's not something that, um, you know, that, that we are part of. Certainly comes across as Burhalter not especially pleased with that tweet. And then later in the press conference, an Iranian journalist confronted U.S. Captain Tyler Adams. First of all, you say you support the Iranian people, but you're pronouncing our country's name wrong. Our country is named Iran, not Iran. Please, once and for all, let's get this clear. Second of all, um, are you okay to be representing a country that has so much discrimination against black people in its own borders? My apologies on uh, the mispronunciation of your country. Um, yeah, that being said, you know, there's discrimination uh, everywhere you go. Um, you know, one thing that I've learned, especially from living abroad in the past years and uh, having to fit in in different cultures and, and kind of assimilate into different cultures, um, is that in the U.S. we're, we're continuing to make progress uh, every single day. Hard to imagine a, a better answer from the U.S. captain. Then there's Iran coach Carlos Karos, who uh, got caught up in comments by former U.S. men's national team coach Jurgen Klinsmann, who's part of the FIFA technical committee. He made comments on the BBC in a studio show referencing Iran's culture. Karos took exception and demanded that FIFA remove Klinsman from that technical committee uh, that is providing reports uh, throughout the tournament. But Karosh did say that he doesn't believe his comments will provide any extra incentive for his team. If after 42 years in this game as a coach, I still believe that I could win games with those uh, mental games, <laughs> I, I think I did not learn nothing about the game. Uh, uh, and it's, this is not the case. Uh, those those um, collateral sad uh, events that are surrounding this World Cup, I, I hope will be able, will, will be a good lesson for all of us in the future. And um, that in the next next event, we, we, we learn that our mission here is to create entertainment. Karoch is the former assistant to Sir Alex Ferguson at Manchester United. It is his third consecutive World Cup as the head coach of Iran. He's the former coach of the New York, New Jersey Metro Stars, now the New York Red Bulls. And he prepared Project 2010, affectionately known as the Q Report, after the 1998 World Cup for the U.S. Soccer Federation. And he says he sees some of the benefits from that report. This... Um... U.S. Uh, national team. It's a, a great team. It's a, a different football team from the United States that I, I saw and I met at the beginning. They, they're really uh, playing a modern football with all players competing in a daily basis in Europe, some of them in top teams in, in, the, in, the, in Europe. So uh, that is one thing we promised to them. We're going to play with full respect, for respect, but with a strong wish to get the result to move to the second round, which is legitimate as we, we respect that they have the same wish 
and the same uh, goal in mind. Garros and Iran, they just need a tie or a win to advance into the second round. Meanwhile, the United States, uh, they've got to get a win. That's the only result that gets them through. From Doha, Qatar, I'm Glenn Crooks, New York Post Sports.